electrochemistry. We are very familiar. Charge and discharge of mobile phone, everything. From 1600 to 1800, we made lots of electrostatic generators. In 1663, Otto von Drake first friction machine. In 1775, Ford first electrostatic induction machine. With the development of electricity, we use electricity to study in biology and chemistry. In 1791, Luigi Gaffani, discovery of bioelectricity. Electrodes touch frog and legs touch into the upward position. In chemistry, scientists found electrolysis can reduce metal. The first day, in 1800, Ford invented battery. Ford battery can provide a stable electric current. We can electrolyze many new elements. In 1800, William Nicholson decomposed water into hydrogen and oxygen. In 1807, Daffy discovered potassium, sodium, calcium, and magnesium. In 1818, William Thomas Blandy discovered lithium. In 1886, Henry Morrison discovered fluorine. In industry, electrochemistry mainly includes electrolysis, electroplating, and battery industry. Using electrolysis, we can produce aluminum, lithium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, chlorine, and fluorine. In chemical research field, using electrolysis, we found lots of new elements. In 1869, we have discovered 63 elements when Mendeleev discovered the periodic table. In addition, the purity of the material obtained by electrolysis is very high, which greatly improves the chemical measurement accuracy.